constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The court hearing against MP Nama Rajapaksa and five others on alleged charges of purchasing shares worth 300 million rupees of Gavas Corporate Services Private Limited with money obtained through money laundering activities was held today. The High Court had previously issued arrest warrants for suspects Indika Prabhat Karunajeeva and company's directress Iresha De Silva as they had been evading summons to appear before court. The High Court had also ruled out to carry on with court proceedings in their absence. As a result, the CID had issued a red notice over Directress Iresha De Silva to Interpol. Accordingly, she was arrested in the United Arab Emirates yesterday and was later deported to Sri Lanka. The CID arrested the Directress upon her arrival at the Bandar Naik International Airport this morning and was later handed over to the Financial Crimes Investigation Division. Iresha De Silva was then produced before the Colombo High Court. The attorney representing the respondent told the court that his client left for the UAE on the 15th of December 2015 for employment. He pointed out that De Silva was not under any legal constraints or travel bans at the time. The attorney also said that his client took action to present herself in court through a lawyer as soon as the summons were issued against her. He also said that she returned to the country this morning because of the ongoing court proceedings and that she was arrested on arrival by the CID unnecessarily. A request was also made for her to be granted bail. Accordingly, High Court Judge P.S.A. Narana Singh her released on a cash bail of 500,000 rupees and surety bail of 5 million rupees. Her suspect's foreign travel was also suspended and the case was postponed until the 20th of February. They say that she was arrested abroad and brought into the country. It wasn't the case. She came all by herself. We know we haven't committed any crimes. This is politically motivated. All of these police officers, ministers and their secretaries were there during our tenure. Nothing has changed since. They say they take legal action, so I challenge them to arrest the person who appointed the chairman of the Litro Gas Company.